Addison Ray is coming to War of the Visions. And no, I'm not joking. That's really going to be happening on Wednesday. And she's... She actually looks pretty good. So we got some information from the live stream. I'm going to cover that now in this video. We'll talk about Addison. We'll talk about the vision card so that you know what to do on Wednesday. Now, of course, she is free. And they they said on the, on the stream that there's going to be other ways to get her shards that are free. I, we don't know if that means that all of them are free or if we're going to have to spend some busy or my, my guess is that in order to get the new players kind of into the game, they don't want to make it very difficult for people to access her shards and build her up. So I'm assuming that there's going to be a lot of ways to get her shards and other materials so that new players that just don't understand the, the mechanics of the game yet will be able to build it. But I guess we'll, we'll find out what's gonna go on. And, and until then, let's go into the trailer and kind of look at the different uh, pieces of information that we can glean. A couple other notes mentioned on the stream, Justin said there was going to be a mini raid during this time and that the mini raid would be very easy. So new players will be able to take it on, but there will be uh, exclusive event equipment that can be farmed from that uh, mini raid. So that's kind of exciting for all players. Uh, I also wanted to mention uh, that he said there'll be a three part story event. So that means that for three different weeks uh, in a row, we'll get more and more story about Addison coming into, you know, Ardra and interacting with War of the Visions characters that we know and love. Oh, well. Let's talk about the news first and then we'll get into the, the stream and look at her skills and all that kind of stuff. And by the way, you know, I, I didn't make this any sort of secret back when she was announced, but I'm not thrilled that she's in the game. I understand that she's not here for me, that we're trying to get new players into the game. And if you're a new player that's watching this video, welcome. And I hope you enjoy Addison Ray and you know, all that she brings. So I will say there's some cool things that I think that they did right. And we'll go into that. Uh, but yeah, just just so you know, like, yes, I know I'm not, <laughs> I'm not thrilled that Addison Ray's in the game, but they did some cool things. So first of all, people were worried, is she going to look totally out of place? And no, she looks like she could be a dancer from Ardra. Uh, it's very uh, interesting costume. So that's a good thing. That looks pretty good. The vision card art is always good. Looks looks great. The other thing I think is great is that she is a light unit. And some people might take that as an issue. They might say, well, hey, Miss Cydia, we always get free light units. That's way too many, you know, for one element. Well, guess what? Uh, this is a unit that's going to bring new players into the game and they're going to be able to build off of it because yes, all of these free light units will rerun uh, at various times and they'll be able to build up their light team and use their favorite unit, Addison. And it makes a lot of sense. Uh, it also makes a lot of sense that right now you can pull for Locke, who is a light, light unit and who is an evasion unit. Uh, which Addison will pair with. We'll get into that in a moment. Uh, and also it makes sense that Elena will be available periodically uh, as well as, you know, Bart is coming up and is a free light unit. So there's tons of light support uh, for new players. If you're all about Addison, well, guess what? This game is looking out for you. So that's that's interesting to see. And it makes a lot of sense to me from a design perspective. Now, she is a 100 cost unit, which means there's a certain power level that we would expect from her. And guess what? Uh, based on what we know so far, she's gonna deliver on that. So let's go take a look here. So if we scroll down, here's her new unit. There's her uh, her jobs, Performer, Blade Soul, and Red Mage. Those are decent sub jobs. Her Limit Burst, living, uh, Live and Loving It, is a chaining skill, big AOE, and it has a chance of inflicting slow. Now that's really strong. I saw someone on Reddit saying that uh, based on this preview, she didn't look very good. And I, I honestly, that was just a, a terrible take. And I think they got downvoted to, uh, you know, the underworld. So that worked out. But I mean, all the skills they showed here are great, right? So uh, awesome uh, AOE limit burst with one of the most powerful status effects in the game. Uh, breakthrough, which is a large guaranteed hit. So really good for taking on uh, evasion units. And then barrier bop gives protect and then gives herself a physical barrier. Now Protect is one of the most important buffs in the entire game right now because there's actually quite a few units that can't remove it. And we need ways to survive these Bradleys and Sephiroths and all these other units. So uh, for, for her to be able to give your allies Protect, that's actually kind of a big deal. Uh, it doesn't quite go with the other skill that she has that we're gonna learn about, but still, this is a good skill. I really like to see this uh, very, very pleased. It's very similar to what Joker has, uh, except it's a physical barrier instead of all damage. 
So then we have the, the VC, a dance that's out of this world. This one is not free. Addison's free. This is not free. You have to get it for 10k viz, probably a 2k paid if you want to get that way. Uh, but the bestowed max HP up is not spectacular. Let's see if it's a good amount. The limited party ability, which is for sword, red mage, dagger, book, and gloves, will give you magic attack resistance up, magic up, and reaction block rate up. So these are all good effects. I actually really like this. Um, I was just talking, and I'm going to mention this again in my Master Curl video because I already recorded it for this one, but magic resistance up is good for a ton of units right now, and it's not something that we're going out of our way to equip. So when you just get it, it's a good thing. So this all looks fine. Um, as somebody that is using glove users, I might be pulling for this. I don't really want to uh, <laughs> at all, but I might. I'm going to wait for the stats, and I, I very well may end up getting this. Um, I, I might end up building Addison too, just because she is a glove unit um, and she does some interesting stuff that we'll talk about soon. But otherwise, it also has a funny, uh, you know, super funny punny name here for this vision ability. So if you're a glove user, you can you can use the Addison Ray. Yeah. So uh, this is a actually a pretty good skill though because it's an XL damage, which has significantly lowers target reaction ability, uh, which is probably 100%. And so just massive damage. Uh, they can't use a counter and it has a range height of two, which is a good range height. So you can actually uh, put this on glove users that might enhance their ability to function on certain maps. So this is actually quite good uh, to see. So uh, good vision ability. She's going to have uh, training missions. And like I said, Justin alluded to there being more than just the regular ways of getting her shards. There should be extra ways of getting her shards. So that should be really good. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, that is that is the main thing uh, that we can see in the news. All right. So we're going to take a look at her limit burst. And I want to apologize in advance for showing you this. But there is a nice 98 percent chance of slow there. Uh, it's going to kill this skeleton for sure. And there we go. She's got text showing up on the screen. She's getting a bunch of likes. You go, Addison. And she's spinning around. She winks at them. The hearts all pop. And I, I believe that's where the chaining damage is coming from. It's from those, those hearts popping off there. So I guess they're pretty, they're, they're pretty deadly. There's it's supposed to be love. But really, what we're seeing here is that Addison's cold-blooded. She's, you know, look at, okay, someone said slayed in all caps. Don't know what that means. Love the outfit. You look nice. OMG. Uh, oh my God. I think Orange J's name was in there. I think, I think that was one of the people that was, that was typing. Holy. Okay. So let's take a look at her other abilities. We have a few other skills we can look at here. So this one is breakthrough. This is the 100% uh, hit that she has. Looks fine. Whatever. Okay. Uh, they'll do that again. But then the skill that she's going to use after this is an AOE attack that lowers AOE resistance and then it, it breaks the attack and spirit of the uh, of the enemy while their AOE resistance is lowered. So that's actually really good. AOE resistance is one of the most important stats in the game right now. So being able to lower AOE resistance is an incredibly powerful effect. Uh, so that's actually a very good skill right there for us to see. Okay, so this one, this is a her small damage skill. So uh, this is, you know, her bread and butter low AP move, but it removes courage. So that's obviously very handy. Now you often can't kill people with, uh, you know, courage with a small damage skill, but maybe you can. Uh, this next one is barrier bop. I think, yep, that's the protect. So protect to all your allies. She gets a physical shield and she jiggles around with glee uh, as you might if you were dressed like that fighting skeletons and dark elementals, you know, it's pretty dangerous, but this skill, okay. Is it, oh no, this is the one. Okay, this skill is nuts. Uh, this skill gives your uh, ally uh, courage and HP recovery below 20%, okay? So that's something that only some tanks get and some bruisers get. She gives it to somebody. So you can immediately go to um, a unit that, you know, like King Mont doesn't have courage. This gives him courage. Now he has the, the self heal, but you could go over to Charlotte and Charlotte doesn't have courage or the self heal. She gets both, um, you know, whatever it is, uh, you give it to Engelbert. He has courage already, but then doesn't have the self heal, all these things. It's, it's a nut skill to give both of those things because they work really well together. If your courage isn't dispelled, then when you pop your courage and don't die, you'll automatically heal a large potency. 
uh, from this skill. So this is an absolutely nuts uh, teen skill, really, really strong, and it enables her to be used uh, in various parties. And uh, of course, with fire having multiple glove users, she's actually going to fit into uh, glove teams with fire, with lightning, with uh, Summer Helena. Uh, I know people can use her in guild battle to basically hide what's behind there on defense. So this is a very, very strong skill and it gets even stronger. So here's the EX ability. So this is the skill bestows the ally uh, with the ability to survive fatal damage one time and then the HP recovery and they get all uh, guaranteed hits nullified. So now let's go back to this, right? You're playing fire and you have Valentine Ildira who doesn't have courage or have, uh, you know, the nullify guaranteed hit. Now she gets both with the heal. So they have to have accuracy to hit her and she gets the courage and she gets the self heal and all that stuff. Now she's in light. So obviously we have Locke right now, uh, who's on banner, Final Fantasy VI. And there's also uh, Elena, who will come back periodically as a global exclusive unit or global first unit. And both of them will be able to take advantage of this as well because they are evasive units. And while Elena already has courage, Locke does not have courage. So this is an absolutely nuts skill. It's so good. I, I think we've seen enough now that it's safe to say Addison Ray is going to be an adequately powered 100 cost unit. We don't know exactly what her own survivability will be until we see the final stats and all that kind of stuff, but seems like she's built with some survivability in mind as well for herself. And they also mentioned that her mastery ability has hate down for herself. So she's less likely to be targeted, uh, you know, compared to your other units. So if you run her with two evade units, it's Locke, Elena, and uh, Addison, then she puts, uh, you know, nullified uh, guaranteed hits on one of them. And you might think, well, oh, if they can't hit my evade units, they're going to they're go for Addison. Well, it depends on, on what their accuracy is because Addison has hate down. So that all seems really good. So I also wanted to mention two other things they said in the stream. First of all, there's going to be in July uh, a special a special login thing where you get summon tickets that are based on how many how much Vizior you spent in the game since launch. So for every 2000 uh, Vizior you spent, you will get a certain amount of summon tickets back and you can summon on those. They give soul stars and vision stars. It's pretty insane, uh, very generous. And it really goes a long way to addressing what some fans and players have been saying. Well, how about the veterans? What do we get? There's so many things for new players, blah, 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 which is important because we need new players to play this game and, and to join us. But what do the veterans get? That's what people have been asking for. Well, this is something that strictly, uh, you know, benefits the, the veterans, but also the spenders that join the game and spend lots of Vizior. Uh, that's all really good for them. So that's amazing. The other thing they did here was they talked about the recent release schedule of 100 costs and someone in the chat said, well, at least they're addressing it. And my, my response to that is, did they, did, did this, did this address it? I don't think that it did. We are aware that players have been feeling this way and completely understand. Sure. While there will still be 100 cost units being released. So they're still going to do it. Like nothing's actually changed. We'll also strive to make ongoing improvements so that different types of players can enjoy the game without feeling exhausted. That means nothing. Like this isn't, yeah, that this isn't a response or like it really, they, they just, they're just hoping that like the fact that they that we know that they know where the, the, this is like a complaint is enough. Uh, but yeah, there's more and more 100 cost units coming and it's uh, it's just going to go on for a long time. So just keep that in mind. OK, that's it for this video. We'll do a full should you pull for the vision card and for Addison on Wednesday. Hopefully I'll have my new computer back and I can do all my graphics and stuff. Otherwise, we're just going to be checking out War of the Visions Calc together. So that could be, you know, pretty fun. But yeah, maybe we'll have the whole thing. Either way, I right now I'm leaning towards begrudgingly building Addison Ray because I see there's a bunch of glove utility for for myself as a fire player. I see that there's some uh, fire evade utility with her ability that gives courage and guaranteed uh, nullify uh, you know down. 
Uh, and then there's also going to be the uh, the ability for her to make somebody just more survivable with the courage. Uh, you know, for example, uh, if she just puts that on Roy, like that would be awesome for Roy to have courage in a self heal. And he has healing power up on my build. So, you know, there's there's cool things there that I think you could play around with. I do like the way they built the unit. I do like, like the way that she looks uh, in terms of not being jarringly like out of the War of the Visions universe. But I am still bummed that she is Addison Ray and that, you know, we have Addison Ray. So, uh, <laughs> uh, sorry if people are, think I'm salty about that, but it's still weird. It's just weird. I don't know. I don't really get it. But anyway, that's it. Hopefully new players have joined. If you have joined, welcome to the game. Uh, and you can teach me, you can comment down below and, and teach me about the ways that's and rate and why I should be more psyched about her. But uh, otherwise, I'll see you all soon in another video. Uh, thank you so much for watching.